Hey guys, you're watching Oscar Outdoors, man. Uh, this is the cook part of these Gasper Goose, man. We caught these the other day, and uh, you can watch that in the, the video description up here somewhere. I think it's about right there. If you want to click that and check out how we picked up these bad boys yesterday, believe it or not, we caught these on crawfish, man. You can see that in, the, in that video up here somewhere. So we got three of them. And these are freshwater drum. We caught them from a Lake Belton. And they, uh, they're also called Gasper Goo. So I, I like to call them Gasper Goo. I think it's just, it's just fun saying it. But we're going to go ahead and catch them. Uh, we already caught them. We're going to go ahead and fillet these bad boys. We're going to cook them. We're going we're gonna to cook these bad boys. So let's go ahead and get started and get right into these guys. All right, we got the first one right here. And just like any other fish, we're going to go ahead and start a little bit behind the fin. Work our way up to the top of that head meat right there just like that turn this bad boy up go ahead and start getting into these scales here and cut along that spine Go ahead and push this all the way through. Just like that. You know what? I'm cut right through those rib bones. Make it a little easier for me there. There you go. Well, you know what? I ate these guys a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. And to tell you the truth, I don't remember exactly quite how they taste. Well, this one's got a lot of fat in it. That's all right. Wow, that's a lot of fat. Okay. Go ahead and get that over there real quick, just a little bit. And uh, you guys know how to fillet, right? Get it right up against that skin. Push down. Give it a little ass, it'll come off. You get that nice flap of skin right here. And all the meat's gone. Here, right, so turn it around here a little bit. Get a little rid of it. Got some bones up here. There you go. All right. Let's turn you around, do the other side. Cut along those ribs. Come on through the anal hole. The tip of that knife right there. And you'll feel those ribs, man. Just work them right along the edge. You want to keep a little bit of that tail right there so you, when you fold it back, it'll you have an easier time filleting it. So we're going to go through these ribs again. There you go. And you know what? I think I can get the ribs off just like from right here. Now, stick with the program. Get your nice, nice and sharp. Grab a hold of them scales and that skin. And cut that bad boy off. There you go. Another flap. Some big bones in there. There you go. 
Uh, looks like there's a lot of meat in there, huh? What's this right here? Oh, no. Yeah, it's full of bones. Okay. Got a nice big fillet right there. That bad boy in there. This guy's going in the trash. All right, you guys get the idea. I'm going to go through two more of these bad boys. And uh, finish the rest of this. All right, guys, I went ahead and finished all three of those Gasper Goo, those drum. Here's all the meat. And you know what? I went ahead and saved the that rib meat on there, man. There's a, there's a lot of meat in between those bones there. We'll just go ahead and fry those up straight up. So I got the fillets and the belly meat on that bad boy. All right, let's continue. All right, guys, I'm back from the sink and rinsing these off about four or five times. And we're going to go ahead and add, whoa, see how I did that? I'm going to add the line, but I ain't going to throw the whole thing whole like that. I'm going to cut this bad boy in half. You know what I mean? And we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Just like that. And we got three of these bad boys in there, so... I'll put two limes. Get the enzymes breaking down in there. Get that lemon lime zesty taste to it. All right, we're gonna mix this up a little bit. I want that lime juice to touch all that flesh. We're going ahead and just put some of this uh, bold Creole seasoning. I find it to be pretty well rounded. It's a little spicy, but you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, that's okay. Mix it around. Just like that. Alright, that should be good. All right. I'm cover this bad boy drum tight and put it in the fridge, y'all. All right, we got that fish in the refrigerator. We're gonna go ahead and let that marinate for about an hour or two, something like that. You don't got take too long you know what I mean it's just fish and uh, next ingredients we're gonna need is some flour to go ahead and coat it in and we're gonna fry them bad boys to get that good flavor out of them man you know and uh some vegetable oil fry it in as soon as the uh, as soon as those uh, fish come out of the as soon as those fish come out of the refrigerator guys we'll get started man it's one of those fish that you know you don't eat too much a lot of times people throw them back but we're gonna try them out man this is Oscar outdoors all right now we're gonna put some oil in here. I got this uh, Dutch oven pot nice and hot. Uh, go about a half inch oil in there, that'll be fine. We're gonna get that nice and nice and hot. I got the flour here already. All right, here's the fish. It's been marinating in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half, two hours. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these bad boys. It's a little bit smaller, more manageable pieces here. So we'll just do like something like that. Look at that. That's tender. See how the, the lemon kind of cooked it a little bit right here? It's a little white. It did its thing, you know, but the inside's still nice and pink. That's some good flesh right there. It's nice. Okay, we're going to put these pieces back in there. A couple more just like that look at these nice big fat pieces you guys uh, yeah if you haven't already went to go check out that uh that last video where we caught these drum these gasper goo go check it out after this if you haven't seen it yet it's pretty cool
Alright. Just about got all these cut up. just like that all right here we go we're not gonna put any egg wash or white wash on this we're just gonna not mean white wash <laughs> that's painting egg wash we're gonna go ahead and just put it right in the flour because it's already been marinating it's kind of wet already so with that oil to get nice and hot we'll go ahead and put a couple of these in here Big pieces. Ah, I bet y'all can hear the dogs back there getting rowdy, huh? Yeah, I got three little dogs. You probably seen them in the other videos. A little white one, a little brown one, a little black one. Rambo, Honey, and Zeus. Let's see. All right. I do a bunch of them like that, you know. Might be able to stick them all in there. Hey, you guys settle down back there. You hear those guys? I think they're all bad, huh? All right, we got it all nice and floured up. Let's get to frying. All right, when you guys are frying your fish, man, fry it nice and hot. Get that oil nice and hot. You want that thing to, to, to fry right away. Just like that. There you go. Big old pieces of meat. Yeah, we caught three of these bad boys. And uh, I put half of them, half of all, all this meat in the, in, the, in the freezer so we have more for later, but it should be good for the night. That's the kind of sizzle you guys want right there when you start frying your fish. All right, we're going to pick up right when these bad boys are coming out. All right, these bad boys are looking nice and golden brown. Don't want them too dark. Making fish sticks for real. Alright, these are done. some more in there and one more all right let's do his thing Tartar sauce. And of course the hot sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit of that one. And some cocktail sauce. All right, just put a little bit. Yeah, it's done fine. Got the fish right there. Got some cooked up. I'm gonna do the one, uh, be the one to, to be the first guinea pig. I'll try it first. So, so here we go. Let's get this nice piece right here. All right, I got this nice piece right here. It's all right. Um, damn. Mm-hmm. Now, if y'all ain't never eaten drum before, y'all keep throwing them back, man. I know I do it sometimes too, but. Ah. 
老老老老老，那。Perfect, perfect. Hey, you guys, you know, keep one of them. Fry it up. Put that that lime or that lemon juice in there. Season it lightly. It already has a good flavor to it, man. You know, and uh, oh, delicious. I gotta get somebody else to try it. Let me go find somebody. All right, everybody. I got my wife Alexandria here. She's uh, on some of my uh, other YouTube videos and stuff. She catches all kinds of stuff with me and goes. When I can force her out with me, she goes out there. But she's gonna be guinea pig number two for this uh, Gasper goo. So go ahead and grab yourself a nice tender piece. Try to get one without any bones in it or some. The bigger the piece, the better. Yeah, because the, the the smaller the pieces, they're, they're probably gonna have a little bone in there. So get yourself here. Here's a nice one right there. There, there you go. Try that right there. I try to make it as boneless as possible, but. You know, and just, yeah, try it by itself real quick. Let me know what you think. Mm. Nice, tender, and flaky. Yeah. Really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the best and 1 being dirt, how does that Gasper goo taste? I'll give it a 10. What? A 10. Bam! Y'all hear that? That's because how I cook it, man. It's not the fish, you know. <laughs> yeah. All right, baby. I appreciate you trying that out for me. No problem. And uh, you got a couple of dipping sauces there to, 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 to use if you want. Mm. You got some uh, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, lime, and hot sauce. But I wanted to see what you thought about it, you know, what it tasted like by itself. So, Thumbs up on it? Oh, yeah. You recommend it to other people? Definitely. Don't throw them back all the time? Maybe put one in the ice chest? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. Love you, too. All right. Guinea pig number three. Say hi to everybody, Katrina. Hi. Hey, uh, this is my daughter, Katrina. We call her Cat for short, but she's in a bunch of my YouTube videos, too. Y'all guys got to go check them out if you haven't already. But uh, that's some, uh, that freshwater drum that Dad caught the other day, baby. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go ahead and give that a try, and you let me know your honest opinion about how that tastes. One bean tastes no good, ten bean <coughs> tastes pretty good. I give it an eight. An eight? Yeah. Dang, so a thumbs up? Yeah. You, pretty good. You cooked better fish. Oh, yeah, that's probably the fish then, huh? Yeah, you like catfish and stuff? Yeah, me too. All right, man. Gasper goo. And you got some dipping sauces there, baby. All right, uh -huh. say bye-bye say to everybody. Bye. <laughs> Hey, I got my son here, Juden. You might have noticed him on some of my other old YouTube videos. So for some of you old school subscribers, say hi to everybody, Juden. Hello. All right. Well, Dad caught these drum, this drum here, and I want you to taste it and give me your opinion, man. You can, uh, taste it like that first, and then you can dip it. Let me know what you think. Tell the, tell the audience out there what you think about freshwater drum, a.k.a. Gasper Goo. I think it's good. Yeah. Try it out and enjoy eating. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Enough said. Mm, All right, man. Say later. Later. Hey guys, I'm glad you stopped by and watched this uh, the cook part of the the uh, the drum that, that we caught the night before. And uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. And I want to th say thank you to all my subscribers, all the all the new people who come check out the, the, the videos I post, everyone who leaves a comment, the first guys who put comments on there, uh, 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 men, women, children, everybody who watches my channel. Uh, I appreciate all you guys, man. It's fun doing them. I, I, I love uh, making the videos. And uh, uh, I love to watch you guys reactions with the comments and on stuff like that and watch these catching cooks and, and all these outdoor things we do and stuff like that and uh stick with me i'm gonna have a lot more for you guys in the future here all right hey continue watching our squad doors y'all